If you love little dogs, you may not want to watch this video. Welcome back to Off-Label Veterinary News, your source for commentary on animals, medicine, and practice life. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. This week, we're gonna jump into a story that all our clients with big and little dogs are gonna be talking about. Who's smarter, big dogs or little dogs? That's a question that's puzzled veterinarians, research scientists, and owners of Great Danes and Chihuahuas. Well, scientists have just published research in the journal Animal Cognition that concludes big dogs are better and maybe more intelligent than smaller dogs, at least when it comes to executive function. The research to find out if a dog's size had anything to do with its intelligence, as it does in other animals, particularly primates, was conducted at the University of Arizona's Canine Cognition Center. The research concluded that bigger dogs with correspondingly larger brains, although that has yet to be proven in Irish setters, did better when it comes to short-term memory test and self-control. Lead study author Daniel Horschler said, We think of it as probably a proxy for something else going on, whether it's the number of neurons that matters or differences in connectivity between neurons. Nobody's really sure yet, but we're interested in figuring out what those deeper things are. Now, the great news for owners of small dogs like myself and my beloved Border Terriers is that brain size doesn't correspond to all forms of intelligence, especially when it comes to social intelligence, which, of course, we know that small dogs excel in since they have somehow conned humans into carrying them around in bags and in strollers. A dog's ability to follow a human gesture or inferential or physical commands was not affected by the size of their cranium. This research is important because to date, most, if not all, of the studies looking at brain size and intelligence had been conducted on primates. We think dogs are a really great test case for this because there's a huge variation in brain size to a degree you don't see in pretty much any other terrestrial mammal. It's important to note that this research was conducted by the Citizen Science online website Dognition, which of course was founded by everybody's favorite MRI-wielding, dog brain studying, Duke professor, Dr. Brian Hare. The website asked dog owners who wanted to participate to conduct a couple of simple in-home experiments. The first evaluated short-term memory and consisted of hiding a treat under a cup for varying lengths of time. Now, the idea was to see how long a dog would quote unquote remember that there was a treat underneath the cup. According to these citizen scientists, larger dogs remembered for a longer period of time that there was food hidden underneath the cups. Or was this actually measuring that smaller dogs knew they could demand a treat anytime? To evaluate a dog's self-control, the dog owners put a treat in front of their dog and measured how long their dog could resist gobbling down. Larger dogs apparently were able to withstand temptation huh? slightly longer than smaller dogs, indicating higher self-control. Could it be that smaller dogs just knew, hey, this is stupid, why are we doing this? Let's eat and get on with it. Now, before you conclude that larger dogs were more likely to have been trained than a smaller Pomeranian or Maltese, the study also evaluated that and found that the extent of training a dog received had little bearing on these results. We're coming to understand that brain size is in some way related to cognition, whether it's because of brain size specifically or whether it's a proxy for something else. So what do you think, off-labelers? Are big dogs really smarter than small dogs? Or are we measuring the wrong things altogether? I wanna hear from you. Well, that's it for another edition of Off-Label Veterinary News. If you like content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing and it means everything to channels like this. Until next time, Keep living that off-label life. Bye.